Konnichiwa, those fighters are playing y'all. Back with another reaction video. And today, you guys, we are doing another Death Valley. This one is from a little while ago. Uh, this one we're doing right here is called Leonardo versus Red Ranger Jason, Ninja Turtles versus Power Rangers Death Battle. So, uh, before you get to this, I would say, based off what I know, I'm going to say the Red Ranger is going to win, but I don't know if they're going to include like, the Megazord and stuff like that because I don't think Leonardo has something equivalent to that. So, if not, it probably Leonardo is going to win. Then if they're just going off of like, raw skill, I think. But let's get right to it, guys. So, but. Kid, there was nothing better than watching my Saturday morning tune. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That one showed up, man. I watched all this time for the team times. Some memorable characters and, and epic playground rivalries. <laughs> like Leonardo, head honcho of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And Jason Lee Scott, leader of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I ain't gonna lie. They messed up the turtles. We'll be sticking to the like, in the down the line, they messed them up. No dragon swords, no turtle mechs, and no last-minute power of friendship. Just a good old-fashioned one-on-one. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and Yeah, so I think that when I was gonna win them, we just raw up skill. This, this is Leonardo's second demo, too. He was like, he's like way back. Let's see the places remain as mysterious and unknown as the New York City sewer system. Anything could be down there. Killer alligators, mole people, or even teenage mutant ninja turtles. Four ordinary domestic terrapins transformed into humanoid superheroes by a chance encounter with a canister of mysterious mutagenic ooze. They were adopted by an equally mutated rat skilled in martial arts who decided to name them after Renaissance artists. You know, even by comic book standards, this origin story is pretty freaking weird. Master Splinter trained Very. as Ninja, and the group formed a daring crime-fighting team. But every team needs a leader. Donatello did machines, but tactics? Nah. Raphael was tough, but way too hot-headed. And Mike Mikey! Was, well, we all know he got dropped as a kid. So the obvious choice was the two yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, yeah, close enough. Of all the turtles, Leonardo was the most studious and focused when it came to Splinter. I never knew that Leonardo was like Splinter Son. I never knew that. Kind of weird since that's a code and he's a ninja, but whatever. The modern tenets of Bushido have evolved over the centuries. Leonardo Splinter Son. I never knew that. To eight virtues. Righteousness, courage, compassion, respect, honesty, honor, duty, and self-control. All of which, frankly, describes Leonardo to a T. A.K.A. I mean, good on you, Leo, but... Wait, what? You became a dragon. Leonardo is a master of... Mutual See, that's why I thought watching. ...a Japanese fighting style using twin katana. Although, Leo's swords are typically a more recent variant called ninjaku. Basically, just katana without a Still way better than wielding tiny forks or a literal stick. The other turtles' weapon. <laughs> Leonardo's and Jockin are incredibly deadly, even <laughs> trying to slice through metal. But he still finds ways to break those things all the time. Good thing he's also got kunai, smoke bombs, shuriken, climbing claws, grappling guns, hell, most of the Batman approved gear. In his latest outing, he's even got this Odachi, basically the claymore of ninja swords, but it's super special. Right, with a swing of the blade, it can open portals that can take its wielder anywhere from across the room or all the way to Tahiti. Time for a vacation! Yeah! Oh, be careful! I think the rules of space could be catastrophic. Yeah, uh, relax, Wiz. I totally have what it takes to no. pull this up. Take it from him, Wiz. Take it. Uh, okay, maybe I'll go with the staycation instead. See, bro? Only for the best. Weapons aside, Leonardo has proved skilled enough to master rare ninjutsu knowledge such as the Healing Hands Mantra, a meditation technique. Say goodbye to that nasty migraine or pesky stab wound. Not quite potent enough to heal fatal wounds, but useful nonetheless. Other than that, the dude's fast enough to outrun explosions and has even dodged lightning. This enemy in particular was specifically granted the power of a storm, implying these bolts are comparable to natural lightning. Therefore, Leonardo must be able to react to things 280 times faster than sound. Ha! And you the turtles were slow. Also, he's strong enough to push over a giant pillar to crush a cockroach monster. Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Baron Drexum, who survived this explosion. 
and held over in the jaws of a monster-fied T-Rex. The Tyrannosaurus is theorized to have had a bite force of 12,800 pounds per square inch, six times more powerful than an alligator. And best of all, even across multiple timelines, good old Leo is usually the one to take down the turtle's biggest villain and least useful kitchen utensil, the Shredder. Questioning his own abilities and decisions, but hey, he's a teenager. Par for the course. One thing's for sure, he's a mean, green fighting machine who's always up for a shell of a good time. Tastes cold steel. After ten thousand years, the, the Ranger guys, Rita Repulsa, my favorite Ranger, released from her long-standing prison. Which, and I need to point this out, was an actual space dumpster. Gross. No wonder she was so pissed off that she decided to attack Earth on the spot. To combat her vile magics, the good-natured Sage in a Tube Zordon sought out a team of heroes. <laughs> Sage and in a Tube. For whatever reason, specifically requested five overbearing and over-emotional humans. No, not that. Not teenagers. I feel you, Invader Zim. The five teens connected to the Morphin Grid, an energy field that transformed them into the mighty Morphin Power Rangers. That wasn't cool enough. Each ranger was bonded to a giant robot dinosaur. There was the blue triceratops, the yellow saber tooth tiger, the black mastodon, the pink pterodactyl, and finally, the red tyrannosaurus. This would go to the red ranger and leader of the team, Jason Lee Scott. Jason was a pretty chill and level headed guy, and already good enough at martial arts to be teaching classes. He's skilled in Kenpo, Taekwondo, Judo, and notably the more unknown Shinkido, a mix of karate and Japanese sword fighting. And he dabbled in hip hop keto. But to get all the martial arts skill he'd ever need, all he's gotta do is hold out that mighty power coin and yell, Morphin Time! Sword! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chills, man. Every time. Morphing into a um, master classic, man. I love Power Rangers. An unprecedented level of martial arts mastery. Even Billy, the Blue Ranger, who barely knew any martial arts at all, became a fist fighting master after morphing. The Red Ranger form also boosts Jason's speed and strength to superhuman levels. And see those sparks? That's the Morphin Grid taking hits for him. And it'll keep doing that until it's overloaded from too many attacks. Good guy Grid over here. Where do I get one? Jason is a powerhouse, focusing on strong, high impact moves like his power punch to send foes flying across the battlefield. And he can use the energy of the grid to take a bite out of Putty with his Tyrannosaurus charge. But when punches and kicks aren't enough, he's got a bunch of colorful weapons that definitely aren't toys, no matter how plasticky they look. Like his wrist communicator, which doubles. <laughs> hey, that thing did look plastic, though. You can tell that from now, like you're watching that from as a kid now. For tougher fights, he can. Right, Wiz, uh, what's the over under on my modification here working? Uh, uh, are you sure about this? We already have enough holes in the floor. Oh, please, Wiz. I know what I. <laughs> I'm okay. No, no, sir. No, sir. <laughs> I'm okay. Fights, Jason can also summon the power I'm sword, not a okay. unique blade that can slice through even the most powerful of monsters. It's also a key component to the power blaster, which is, uh, let me guess here, powerful. Um, yes, the power blaster can destroy creatures even the dinosaurs have trouble with. Though Power Ranger rules keep them from busting out the big guns right away. Right, they technically cannot escalate a fight, so unless the more powerful weapons are deemed necessary, they are generally considered off-limits. So dumb. Regardless, the Red Ranger is incredibly impressive even without his weapons. He's strong enough to lift boulders way bigger than him. Scaling this boulder to Jason's own height, we can estimate it weighs a little over 69 tons. <laughs> okay. Nice. And the Yellow Ranger, who has the same <laughs> boost, <Boosh. laughs> right? Come on, man. That, when using the same scaling method, appears to weigh over eleven thousand tons. These two can run so fast they kick up huge clouds of dust behind them. And in a later series, Power Rangers in space, the Rangers could keep pace with the supercar Storm Blaster. 
Technically, every ranger draws from the same source of power, the Morphin Grid, so it's fair to at least compare Jason to other ranger teams. Like when the SPD Green Ranger chucked a car through the air. Red is quick enough to dodge lightning, at least for a bit, and tough enough to survive the Power Ranger Command Center exploding okay. while he was inside. That's not even the first time the place okay, was Ranger at that Red Ranger. To be fair, it's important to remember that the Ranger powers are not permanent, and his connection to the Morphin Grid has limits. If he takes enough damage and loses his morph, Jason goes back to being a normal human being, albeit one who is a talented fighter in his own right. But with the glorious red spandex and Robo T Rex, <laughs> the red spandex, the power lies on his side. You want to fight? You got it. Oh, that all music, right, man. So nostalgic. We've run the data through all possibilities. But first, all this talking has made me hungry. All right, let's get to it. I'll bait the foot. <laughs> oh yeah, cause the foot clan, the foot soldiers. So they're in uh, New York, I think that's where uh, the Team Ninja Turtles thing was. Give it a fight over the pizza. Dude, sorry, I'm late for huh, one of Frida's monsters. Who? Give Dang. Me a break. You're the monster for ruining my pizza. No. Time to take out the trash. It's Morphin time! Don't count me out yet! Mm. That's turtle power! Power door! Don't blame me for not being impressed! Really, dude? Mm. Two blades are better than one, I will say that. But cheap shot. Win pure tosha. What? Yo, Holy! What are you doing down there? Sorry, tights. I'm all healed up. Behold the immortal turtle. That's bogus. I love being a turtle. <laughs> yeah, I love being a turtle. <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They said, okay. That was bonkers. Looks like Leo totally didn't see that coming. Are you gonna keep reusing that one, or should I expect something new? Oh, I'm sorry, do you want me to shell out some more puns? Fine, fine. Leonardo certainly had more martial arts experience than Jason, and he was likely a bit faster, as we've seen him dodge lightning more reliably. If it were just up to those two factors, the Ninja Turtle may have won. But you know there's more to it. Sure, Leo had some super tough defense on his side, but Jason had the oomph to crack that shell. First of all, Leonardo's superior training was a moot point, as Jason's morph granted him a broad mastery of martial arts talent automatically. Kinda cheap if you ask me, but eh, that's Power Rangers for you. But let's talk numbers. Giving Leonardo the benefit of the doubt, we scaled his level of toughness to his recurring villain, Baron Draxum. Who's fought Leo a bunch of times. Remember how Draxum survived his lab exploding? That's definitely the best durability feat Leo could possibly match. By scaling the lab to the height of the characters, then deducing the size of the explosion itself, its explosive yield must equal about 12 tons of TNT. Okay. Pretty impressive, but then we used the same method on the control center exploding while Jason was inside, and it came out to 550 tons of TNT. 45 times greater than Leonardo. 
That's no, ridiculous. Clearly Jason was much tougher, but we still had to find their overall strength. To do that, we compared Leo's bug crushing pillar to the Rangers bowling with boulders. Using granite as an average potential density and scaling the pillar to Leonardo's height, it appears to weigh about 240 metric tons. Still impressive, but way less than the 11,000 ton boulder. The <laughs> Red Ranger couldn't just crack that shell, he could make turtle soup out of it. Leonardo held some advantages in speed and skill, making this fight far from one sided. However, Jason's superior strength are well, Jason get it, boy, fatality. His Ranger of abilities does mm. or don't. The winner is Jason, the Red Ranger. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Death Battle. If you want the battle music for yourself, you can get it by clicking the link down below. And if you want to watch more stuff, check the boxes right over there. This is the play. Well, that's right, you know, the first uh, War Machine, yeah, you watch that one, yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, I gotta watch that one. Geno's versus War Machine, gotta watch that. But yeah, that was uh, Leonardo versus Red Ranger, Death Battle. So yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. I do have that Geno's versus War Machine downloaded. I haven't recorded it yet. I think I need to go ahead and get on top of that, but I might do that later on in the week. I don't know yet, uh, but I have recorded a whole bunch of you guys today. So I don't know what videos are going to come out, when they're going to come out, how they're going to come out. But yeah, I, I'm going to get to that Genos versus War Machine, though. Sometimes either, sometime this week, hopefully, or next week, be the latest. But yeah, guys, so stop liking the video. Let me know what you guys think about it. And I'm out. Peace.